Welcome to the Fujitsu Forum 2016 here in Munich. My name is Natalie Walter and I am the global product marketing person responsible for Workstation. In virtual reality there are countless opportunities in all kinds of different markets you can think of. So we are talking education, military and defense, healthcare as well, um, training, marketing, engineering of course, architecture as well and many other types of vertical markets. What we have right now here at our booth is a showcase from InnoActive. It's a combination of retail and architecture showcase. And it's powered by the Celsius M740 with one Pascal graphic card, the P6000. The good thing about VR is that it promotes a holistic development process, meaning from design, engineering, manufacturing, operations and maintenance which can be all optimized during this entire workflow. And the good thing here as well is, without having costly physical prototypes or even production toolings. What is very important though to drive VR also into the mainstream area is you have a natural flow from the data, meaning the software part, into VR. And if you look, for instance, for high-end CAD applications, there you need also high-end software VR-capable applications too. Like, for example, uh, Morvis or Stingray from Autodesk or ICI Do from the ESI group. Here at the booth, you see the key parameters, and there are four key parameters you have to take into account. First being the head mount display. So there you have to have a minimum of 90 hertz in terms of refresh rate, then as well also of a viewing field of 110 degrees. And for that purpose, the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive are the best HMDs currently out there in the market. Secondly, you need of course also the software. For the software, take also into account that you have to move it into the VR landscape, meaning you need an engine to do so. A very important point is the third one, which is the professional graphics card. Here we do recommend NVIDIA Quadro graphic card, either the M5000 or 6000, or even when you move to the new Pascal technology, the 5000 and 6000 graphics cards. So all of them are VR ready from NVIDIA. And of course, last but not least, you have to run the application and also connect to the head mount displays we are powerful workstation we have two vr ready machines one being the celsius m740 with which is our mid-range machine covering up to two ultra high-end graphics cards and then on the high-end side we have the celsius r940 with up to three ultra high-end graphics cards and it's also a dual processing machine for more information about fujitsu celsius workstations please go to our website it is www.fujitsu.com slash FTS slash workstations. My name is Serban Georgescu. I'm uh, part of Fujitsu Labs of Europe in London uh, in the engineering cloud group. And our focus is to develop application to accelerate the design process. We are sharing uh, a technology to apply AI for product design. On the electrical space, the, the key aspect of technology is to capture expert knowledge into the form of uh, machine learning models um, and that they could be applied to automatically into automation processes. On the right side, on the mechanical design space, um, the key technology is to search uh, very accurately large databases of 3D models, maybe hundreds of thousands of millions of models, in a in, in very, very short time. The mechanical application, design application, uses deep learning technology uh, to match, to basically compute the similarity between 3D objects. So the, the application has, has learned how to accurately compare two 3D objects in a way which is very close to what human perception would, uh, would do. So two models which seem very close to a human being are also seen as very close by the, by the machine learning algorithms. The way it works is by representing a 3D model as a sequence of images taken from many angles. And deep learning is used to compare and match these images uh, and then aggregate all the results into, into one score, which tells us how similar two uh, 3D objects are. As core technology, uh, we're using a deep convolutional neural networks 
Um, this network is, is able to extract features from images, which makes it easier for us to, to, to compare the images and then compare the 3D, the 3D objects. We obviously need to uh, undergo a training process, uh, which is, would be really time consuming, because we're talking about uh, maybe millions of, millions of models, so tens of millions of images. Um, so we're using uh, NVIDIA GPUs to, to accelerate the process. Here we have uh, 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 some 3D printed CAD models, uh, printed at a bigger scale than they are. And we, we put some, some, some object, like a, like, a, like a screw in this case, um, and the cameras will, will take two images. And these images will be matched uh, against those images which we have in the database of models. And the most similar model is going to come up, it's, uh, it's shown here. And the name of the model, the class of the model, in this case a screw, is showing down. So if I'm, if I'm getting, for example, this, uh, this battery connector, um, that is going to be shown as a battery pack connector here. Um, and the, important, uh, the importance of using multiple cameras here and multiple angles is that while one camera might not be certain what the object is, the right camera thinks it might be a, it might be a spring because of this kind of structure, the camera which has a, uh, has a better view can correct this answer. So in, in, in the actual production, it's like we have these 22 cameras, so it's a, we can see all the features and get a very, very accurate, accurate answer. Both this technology here uh, will be part of, uh, of uh, Fujitsu Advanced Technologies uh, engineering cloud solution, and they should be available in 2017. My name is Sasha Heising and I'm the CTO of Geomon. Here we have a full service solution coming from UOV data acquisition with a drone. What we do is that we capture a lot of single images and we process the single images with um, high performance workstations. The result of our processing is that we get um, very detailed 3D information. The main three parts of our concept is of course the drone, the platform which generates the data. The second part is the machine, the workstation who calculates all the single images, the data, and processes mainly a point cloud. And the third part is the software, which means we um, use uh, photogrammetry software to deliver um, geo-information to GIS software. Our customers came from the industry, of course. They can be out of construction or on open mining companies, which are, relies on information about the surface, about the surface they change. And here, it's perfectly to use UAV data, which means drone data, of course. And then we can calculate and give, provide them geo-information. The benefit of our customers is they save a lot of time and money. Because they save time when we capture the data with UAV, and they save time if we process the data with high-performance workstations. On the other hand, they save a lot of money because they don't have to um, have their staff outside and doing the job manually. In a typical project, we talk about 1,000, 2,000, up to 2,500 pictures, which means single images. And here we talk about 10 gigabyte, 12, 15 gigabyte of data. For bigger projects, we can talk up to 10,000 pictures, which means quite a huge amount of data. We are using Fujitsu Celsius R940 workstations, which is the most powerful workstation in the Fujitsu portfolio. The typical um, graphic cards we use are NVIDIA Quattro cards, which are very reliable, because processing time is one thing, getting the job done is another thing. For a typical project, we can do the post-processing in less than 24 hours. But if we add another graphic card, we have twice the performance, and if you even add a, a third graphic card, we have three times the performance. So it scales up perfectly. If you want to find out more information, visit our website, which is www.geomon.info.